Stop letting everyone get inside your head. Today, we're learning how to make rejection work in our favor, thanks to ideas from the wise Marcus Aurelius. Picture a place where every no actually helps you move ahead instead of holding you back. Rejection might hurt, but it can also be the push you need to achieve big things. It's not about cheating destiny, but seeing that sometimes a no from the universe is really a secret yes to something better. Feeling ignored or not valued, it's time to change the story. In this video, we're going to explore 15 powerful tips that show you how to use rejection to your advantage. And we're keeping it real with advice you can use in your everyday life. But first, help us spread this knowledge by liking this video and hitting the notification bell. It shows YouTube that you like our content. Now, let's begin this journey together, turning rejections into victories. 1. If someone ignores you, just ignore them back. When people act like you don't matter, don't let it get you down. Instead, show you're above that. Not paying attention to those who overlook you isn't mean. It actually shows you know your own value. Think about it. If someone thinks you're not worth their time, it's their problem, not yours. By not reacting, you're really saying, I'm better than this. It's like holding up a mirror to their actions, quietly showing them you're not bothered. But how do you do this and stay positive? Easy. Just focus on what makes you happy, your plans, your joys, your hobbies. Spend time doing things you love and with people who appreciate you. This isn't about revenge. It's about putting your energy into what really counts for you. When someone ignores you, it might hurt but don't stick with that feeling. Let it push you to grow stronger and build up your self-confidence. Show that you're not just getting by, you're actually doing better for yourself. This way, you're not just showing you're emotionally grown up, you're proving how strong you really are inside. Remember, your worth isn't less just because someone can't see what you're worth. Be yourself and let your actions do the talking louder than any silence from them. 2. Keep your cool when faced with rejection. It's natural to feel hurt and want to react immediately, letting emotions take over. However, Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, teaches us the power of staying calm. When ignored, instead of letting anger or sadness guide you, consider a more thoughtful approach. This doesn't mean you ignore your feelings, but rather not let them dictate your actions. If someone overlooks you, pause before reacting. Question why it's affecting you so deeply. Often, it's our own doubts and fears that wound us, not the rejection itself. Here's what to do. Take a deep breath and realize this moment doesn't define you. Stoicism encourages us to concentrate on how we can respond positively without being affected by others' actions. Keep your manners, show kindness. If you decide to reach out, do it because you care, not because you expect something in return. This strategy is about controlling your emotions, not suppressing them. It teaches that your value doesn't depend on others' recognition. Your true strength is in your response, not in others' treatment of you. This shift in mindset is challenging but rewarding. By maintaining peace in tough situations, you're not just getting through, you're growing stronger. This path leads to self-assurance, showing that you don't need external approval to feel valued. This strength and independence are appealing qualities. People are naturally attracted to those who are confident and unshaken by rejection. Thus, by staying composed, you're not only coping, but excelling. You're turning rejection into an opportunity for self-improvement, embodying the Stoic philosophy. 3. Let go of the negativity. Got turned down. It's the perfect moment to learn how to let go, a key step to moving forward. This isn't about pretending it didn't hurt. It's about using that hurt to change things for the better. First, 
Admit to yourself that being rejected stung, but don't hang on to that feeling. Picture yourself as a smart sailor in rough seas. Use this tough time to push you ahead, not to flip your boat over. Think of rejection as a sign to try a new direction, not as a complete stop. Do things that make your spirit happy and open your mind. Whether it's diving into a book that makes you think, trying out a sport that challenges you, or helping out in your community, these aren't just ways to kill time. They're steps on the journey to discovering more about who you are and getting stronger. Also, keep positive people close. Hang out with folks who support you and your dreams. When you share your aims and cheer each other on, it creates a place where everyone grows better. Remember, being turned away doesn't say who you are. It's a chance to find and build a new you. On this road, you'll see that what felt like a tough rejection was actually a nudge towards a journey that fits you better. 4. Show your strength. Getting rejected can really hurt, but it's also a chance to show how strong you are. If people don't notice you in a meeting or you don't get that promotion, take a little time to get your thoughts together. Instead of feeling sorry for yourself or getting upset, do something that shows off what you're good at or lead a new project. Just because you weren't picked doesn't mean you're not important. It's actually an opportunity for you to shine brighter. There's an old saying that when one door closes, another opens. That's really true, and it means it's time for you to do something about it. Being rejected doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. It might just be nudging you towards something better suited for you. Use this as a push to explore your abilities and how you can apply them differently. Now's your chance to make your own success story, turning every setback into a step towards something even better. This isn't about faking happiness, it's about facing your feelings and then moving forward with pride. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, teaches us to focus on what we can control, like how we act and react. If rejection hits you, be nice to yourself and try to see things from the other person's perspective. They might be going through their own tough times. Being understanding shows your strength, not weakness. Use these times to learn and grow stronger. Rejection isn't the end. It's just a part of your story that makes you more real, tough, and ready for anything. Face it boldly, with wisdom and energy, and watch it turn from a big fear into your best way to grow and succeed. 5. Stop all communication. Silence is more than just not hearing noise. It's a powerful part of how you handle your feelings, especially after someone rejects you. Think about when you've been ignored or turned away. You might want to fix things, to make contact, to close that gap. Here's the twist. Choose silence. It's not about playing games. It's about getting your power back. By not responding, not sending messages or making calls, you're giving yourself space. This break is as much for you as it is for them. A chance to remind yourself that your value doesn't depend on anyone else's approval, but there's more. This silence is active, not passive. You're not just sitting around, you're thinking and growing. It's a moment to turn back to what's important to you, your goals, your passions, your life. See it as hitting the reset button, bringing you clarity and strength. This time of no contact isn't about being cold or mean. It's setting a limit for your own well-being. It's a way to say, I respect myself too much to run after anyone. This attitude is more than just stoic. It's powerful. It says a lot about how much you value yourself and your confidence. And think about the silent message you're sending. In a world that expects quick replies, your silence can be powerful, even appealing. It shows you're stable, with a life full of interests and priorities beyond this one rejection. It's not about making them wish they hadn't rejected you. It's about showing you're strong, grounded, and not hung up on needing approval from others. 
This method might not change how they act, but it will definitely change you, making you more resilient, calm, and ready to handle anything with elegance and confidence. 6. Turn their doubt into your motivation. The real power of dealing with rejection isn't just about showing others they were wrong, but about proving to yourself what you're really made of. Think of it as turning a no into the push you need to grow. Suppose someone questions your skill or effort in something. This is your cue to get better at it, not for their praise, but to break through your own barriers. Commit to learning and practicing more intensely than ever before, achieving a level of skill you didn't imagine possible. This process isn't about making a big show to those who doubted you. It's about quietly building up your own confidence and capability. Consider the effect of letting your actions do the talking. You don't have to broadcast your journey or victories. Let your achievements make the noise. If someone thinks you lack creativity, take on a project that highlights your innovative side. If they say you're not dedicated, prove your commitment through your persistent actions. This quiet pursuit of self-betterment isn't fighting against what others think of you, but a personal quest for excellence. As you transform, so does the story others tell about you. The real success in proving them wrong isn't about changing their views, but in evolving your self-perception. Your path to self-enhancement will not only astonish others, but will also expand your own sense of your abilities. It's not merely about proving them wrong, it's about redefining your idea of success. On this path, the biggest win is discovering that the only approval that really counts is your own. 7. Make the most of life and enjoy yourself. The real beauty of life shines through when we push past what's comfortable. Finding joy is not just about fun, it's a deliberate strategy to become stronger. After a rejection, it's common to want to hide away and focus on the negative. However, try this instead. Actively seek out happiness. Doing so isn't about ignoring how you feel, but rather offering your emotions a new outlet. Whether it's picking up a new hobby or getting back into something you used to love, these activities act as a bold counter to the heaviness of being rejected. We're built to connect with others and sharing experiences can be incredibly powerful. As you navigate through rejection, don't forget to lean on your community. Get your friends together for a walk, be part of a local art project, or just enjoy a meal with others. These connections lift you up more than you might realize. They remind you that your value goes beyond any rejection. Every shared smile and story is a gentle nudge, reminding you that you're a vital part of a bigger picture, one that's filled with collective strength and connection. Now, embrace the adventure of the unknown. Rejection might seem like an end, but it actually opens up new beginnings. Try food you've never had before, explore unfamiliar places, or dive into a workshop on something you know nothing about. These aren't just ways to distract yourself, they're paths to personal growth. Every new thing you try adds depth to your personality, making you more flexible, understanding, and ready for whatever life throws at you. The aim here isn't to erase the memory of being rejected, but to use it as a catalyst for building a fuller, more exciting life, transforming every no into a milestone on your journey to a more enriched existence. 8. Enhance your social value. Picture yourself overlooked in a crowded room, practically invisible. Here's your secret chance to grow. Stoicism shows us how to use these moments of feeling sidelined as a push for self-improvement. Rather than hunting for approval, aim at bettering yourself and getting involved in your community. This journey isn't about moving up the social ranks. It's about advancing on your personal path of growth. Activities like working on your fitness, diving into hobbies, or progressing in your career 
aren't merely items on a to-do list. They're your instruments for forging a stronger, more adaptable you. Share your progress, not for cheers, but to connect. When you discuss what you're passionate about or what you've accomplished, use it as a way to meet people who share your interests. This approach isn't for gaining followers, but for genuinely finding your tribe. Getting involved in volunteer work or networking doesn't just beef up your CV. It creates a network of significant connections. This method is deeply stoic, blending personal advancement with contributing to the common good. When you work on your social standing, it's the motive that matters. You're not after fame, you're on a mission to improve yourself. Each action you take should further your growth and, by extension, benefit those around you. This change in viewpoint is essential. It's less about making sure you're noticed and more about observing your own development and aiding in the growth of others. Adopting this stoic attitude is an effective strategy for dealing with modern challenges, transforming rejection into an opportunity for positive change. 9. Pretend they're invisible. When someone doesn't pay attention to you, sometimes the best thing to do is nothing. It's not about being mean or not caring. It's about looking after your own happiness. If someone decides to ignore you, just let it go. There's no use trying hard to get their attention or talk to them. Instead, focus your attention elsewhere. At a party or any gathering, talk to people who are happy to see you. This shows you know your worth doesn't depend on someone else noticing you. If you have to talk to the person who's ignoring you, keep it strictly businesslike. Keep the conversation quick and to the point without getting personal. This isn't about getting even, it's about taking care of yourself. By keeping things simple, you stay away from drama. This way, you show, I'm here for what really matters, not for the games. Using this approach helps you keep focused on the important things, keeping you calm and not bothered by being overlooked. If the ignoring keeps up, it's smart to just walk away. This isn't quitting, it's a smart decision. It shows you understand that your time and energy are better spent on people and things that make you feel good. Not chasing after someone who's not interested doesn't mean you're giving up. It means you're moving toward better things, things that make you happy and help you grow. How you handle being ignored isn't a sign of weakness. It's proof of your strength and self-respect. 10. Stay quiet when someone ignores you. Being silent isn't about winning, it's about keeping your pride. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, tells us to use silence for thinking deeply and controlling our emotions, not for making others feel bad. When you're ignored, use the quiet time to think about your feelings and clear your head. This isn't to make the other person feel guilty, it's for keeping your peace of mind. This quiet time is a chance for you to grow. It's not about shutting people out, it's about understanding yourself better. Stoicism helps us see these moments as opportunities to think about what's really important to us and how we want to live. It's a time to ask yourself, why does being ignored bother me? What can I learn from this? How can I be better? Choosing to be silent is a way to strengthen who you are and act according to your values. If you decide to not say anything, do it because it's good for you, not as a game. It's about avoiding low-level actions like revenge. Instead, it's following Stoicism's advice to keep cool and in control. By not responding to someone ignoring you, you're not just ignoring them back. You're paying attention to your own needs. It's about keeping calm, staying on your path, and finding peace no matter what happens around you. 11. Don't chase after people's attention. If someone isn't paying attention to you, the wise approach is not to try harder to get noticed. It's to remind yourself of your own value and stand strong on your own. 
Being ignored doesn't mean you should try to be louder or more noticeable for them. Instead, see it as a chance to focus on how much you value yourself. The teaching here is that how we feel about ourselves shouldn't change based on how much attention we get from others. It's about knowing your own worth firmly without letting anyone else decide it for you. Dive into what you love doing, spend time with people who see your worth, and build a life you're happy with. This is about actively loving your own life, not passively waiting for someone else to notice how great it is. It's finding so much joy in what you do and who you are that you don't need someone else to tell you you're doing well. So, instead of looking for validation from others, invest that energy in yourself. Create a life you love, not for others to admire, but for you to enjoy. Let your confidence come from your own achievements and the way you grow, not from trying to impress others. This way of thinking doesn't just help you handle rejection, it teaches you to look beyond it, focusing on what's really important, your personal growth and being true to yourself. You learn to see not getting noticed, not as a setback, but as a chance to become even more sure of your own worth. 12. Be nice, but keep your feelings guarded. When people don't seem to care, be kind to them anyway, but make sure you're looking after your own emotional well-being first. This isn't about being unfriendly. It's about taking care of your peace of mind. It's normal to feel upset or annoyed if someone overlooks you, but learning from stoicism, we're reminded to face such situations calmly without letting our emotions get the better of us. You can still be polite, smile, say hello, wish them well, but don't expect anything in return. Your kindness is just that, kindness, not something you do to get a reaction. Keeping some emotional distance doesn't mean you're shutting people out. It's more about setting boundaries. It means you understand that you can decide how you act, but you can't control how others react. This distance shows strength and self-esteem. It's a deliberate choice to not let someone else's behavior throw off your emotional balance. By being kind, yet emotionally reserved, you're essentially saying, I won't let your lack of interest disturb my inner peace. This stance not only safeguards your feelings, it also gives you power. And this mix of generosity and emotional self-protection is a key stoic lesson. It helps you deal with people smoothly while staying true to your emotional self. It shows respect for both yourself and others and proves your maturity and insight. This way, you move past life's snubs, not with resentment or pain, but with a deep, unshakable calm and self-respect. 13. Keep your troubles to yourself. When you're ignored, it might feel natural to want to show how hard it is for you. But Stoicism teaches us to keep our cool and stay strong inside. It's not about pretending you're okay when you're not. It's about being truly strong inside. Keep living your life with energy and purpose, not as a show for others, but as proof of your own resilience. This way isn't about hiding how you feel. It's okay to feel things, but don't let those feelings steer your life. Stay calm and confident instead. Focus on what you can control, what you do, how you react, and how you carry yourself. By going on with your life confidently, you're not just showing others you're strong, you're reminding yourself of your strength. This approach is subtle but powerful. It tells the world, and more importantly, tells you, that your value doesn't depend on what others think or do. Not letting your struggles show isn't about hiding. It's about handling your emotions in a way that keeps you respected and self-assured. It's a sign of wisdom and self-respect, showing you're solid in who you are, no matter what's happening around you. Your way of dealing with being overlooked isn't just for others to see. It's a reflection of your own inner strength and stability. 14. Find what makes you happy. 
When you're feeling left out or not valued, turn your attention to the things and people that make you really happy. Getting into hobbies you love, like painting, playing sports, or anything that gets you excited, helps move your thoughts away from feeling rejected. Hang out with friends and family who love you just as you are. This helps you remember you belong and are valued. This way, you're building a happy life the way you want it, showing you don't need others to tell you you're great to feel good about yourself. Creating a life filled with activities and people you love helps you feel strong inside. Over time, this strength you build for yourself helps protect you from feeling hurt by rejection, showing you that your happiness and value come from within, not from what others think. By keeping your focus on what and who makes you happy, you not only make your everyday life better, but also become stronger in dealing with tough times. 15. Grow and find yourself. Being ignored or rejected might actually be a chance for you to get better and learn about yourself. Whenever someone doesn't recognize your value, let it push you to work on your skills, pick up new ones, or get even better at what you already do. This way of thinking helps you see rejection not as the end of the world, but as an opportunity to grow and improve. It encourages you to be curious and eager to face challenges, turning obstacles into chances to learn something new. By embracing this idea, you're on a path of constant self-improvement, facing every difficulty with a positive attitude. As you try new things and work on your talents, you naturally become more confident, backed up by all the new things you're learning and doing. This cycle of learning and getting better not only prepares you to handle future challenges better, but also fills your life with a sense of achievement and direction. In the end, this journey helps you understand more about what you're capable of and gives you a solid belief in your ability to get through tough times, armed with more skills and a stronger sense of who you are. We've been through a lot together, learning how to turn rejection into a positive force in our lives with 15 key lessons that show us how. Every time someone says no to you, think of it as a chance to get stronger and a reminder to tap into your inner power. Now, I'm asking you to use what we've learned in your everyday life. See rejection not as a problem, but as a push to grow and find out more about yourself. I can't wait to hear how you've turned things around, so please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Talk about your wins and your tough times. If you're not sure what to say, just write, Rejection won't bring me down, to let us know you're pushing through. Your stories and comments keep this community going, helping us all learn more, understand better, and most importantly, turn each challenge into a chance for success. Let's keep growing in our stoic strength together. As always, until next time.